<laughs> it's kind of an anticlimax, which feels really, really ungrateful. But um, I guess because you know, I'm a cinema manager, I think in film terms. So I had hoped that the ending would be the kind of like at the end of the Goonies, when the kind of the management would be there and the owners would be there, the landlords would be there, and they'd be about to sign like the contract saying, "Oh, you're now closing" or, or something. And then I'd run through the streets with a check and be like, "No, don't sign that piece of paper. We're saved." But it didn't happen. It was a phone call, and it was like, "Yeah, you're staying open." I think the campaign group got really irritable with me because they were they were wonderful and they were determined and stubborn and optimistic but I, I, I would always kind of bring it in but well I'm brushing off my CV I'm applying for some jobs three quarters of a million pounds you're not going to make that they're not going to back down it's a David and Goliath story and in the real world real world David gets his ass kicked it's definitely their dedication that they were quite considering how many people there were supporting it and kind of in a way how haphazard it was but looking back they did everything right it was Every, I think, four weeks, they made sure they had a big media event that the press would get involved with. So for the first few weeks, it was like a demonstration, then another demonstration. Then there would be like a, a brief encounter, kind of red carpet screening, or there'd be like a Blues Brothers concert. And each time it would get press, it was always in the paper. The celebrity interest is important because otherwise the media won't get interested. And it's really silly, it'd be like, um, Richard E. Grant signed the online petition. Okay, <laughs> that's not going to magically save the cinema, but suddenly the press are calling people up and saying, "Oh, uh, we've got a, a, a received Richard E. Grant has signed a petition. We'll get a quote from his agent." And suddenly we're in the Guardian, and you think we're getting kind of national press now. That's fantastic. I think independent cinemas are people like anyway, um, and it's interesting. I mean, another way of saying independent cinema. Well, an independent cinema isn't a community cinema. A community cinema is something different. But an independent cinema is very community focused and very customer focused. And in part, it's the personal relationships and it's also the quaintness of the building. It's a, you know, it's, it's not a custom built cinema, so it's got its flaws as a building, but it's also really, really charming. We've had support from people in Penrith, from the, from Cumbria, from all over this country, and from all over the world, uh, particularly America. Uh, Canada as well, and uh, and it's great. I mean, even now, I've had messages from people in Canada on sort of when we sent out the Facebook message saying, "Oh, you know, I used to live in Penrith, kind of ten years ago. I'm now in Canada. I've been following your campaign. It's great that you've won. Well done, excellent." It's a, and we also had a, a kind of an older generation who, because the cinema's been there for so long, there's there's a kind of people who first started to court there or met their wives there and then took their children there and now want to take their grandchildren there. It's got that kind of history of Penrith.